a spoil that Skid Row with the cameras pointing all directions mm -hmm. and somebody working the cameras. Um, all right. Is this the same room we were in? Yeah. You were the same seat you were in. Oh, it is. Ryan was here, you were like here. I told you, I have no memory. You know, it turns out to be <laughs> a happy it's brighter. thing now. It's brighter. I'm it seems you. brighter, yeah. But it's why? <laughs> I think that there's, there's some lights that are on that's not really hard. Whenever you're ready. Uh, Alright, I'll cue up the music. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the lighter side of the dark side, it's your weekly freak show here on Renegade Radio, as well as on Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, uh, I don't know, there's all sorts of places we're at, MyCast, wherever you're listening, thank you for listening, I am Dark Mark, the goth comedian. I am Carlos Hannibal. Yes, I, I had a whole intro for you. The, uh, oh, did you? Go ahead. Oh yeah, everybody's favorite vegan heavy metal DJ, <laughs> Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Some people's favorite. I that, that, are there a lot of vegan heavy metal DJs? No, no. I haven't even DJed in years. I know. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to figure that out because yeah. actually I, I might maybe we'll get to some work because here we've got club promoter. Uh, 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 I, I, it's so funny, people never even say that anymore. But yes, I, I have done that you're, too. No, you, you, you're such a multi hyphenate. Uh, you've been called the the PT Barnum of boobs. Oh yeah, that was great. Uh, <laughs> yes, a long time ago. Yeah, at least we said that. Uh, and also, you, uh, uh, Jessica Rabbit come to life. Yeah, I've heard that too. And the one that I've uh, tried to coin three years ago, last time you were on the show, didn't quite take was the Andy Warhol of the 21st century. Oh, that's a really nice one. It's Lenora Claire. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so glad that you're back. And the, part of the reason you're back, well, we already we discussed you coming back on the show mm -hmm. uh, when I saw you last, but you wanted to meet. This fabulous lady, I sure did, yeah. the person that was that honored me as being my first guest ever on my podcast. <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah. And it, was, it was on April first, so I thought it was an April Fool's joke, but she actually showed up. Ah, and you've ah. been on multiple times, uh, act, uh, actress, anchor woman, activist, soon to be uh, a radio host again. I mean, aren't you tired of me already? <laughs> oh no, I can never get tired of you. Oh. <laughs> I, I, but uh, let me uh, get the sponsors out of the way so I don't get tired of that. How are you, Bree? I'm excellent now that I'm here. Yes, you know, it people don't uh, appreciate, I think, in other parts of the world how hard we work to get any place in LA. Driving and parking. And wow. honestly, they're all pussies. <laughs> By the way, you're going to see a side of Brie Walker you've never seen before on this show. So I bring right. it out. I bring I'm it so out. Into it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, and we're uh, in Austin, Minnesota. The driving and parking problem is not as bad. <laughs> True. My little town, the home of spam. We yeah. like spam, don't we? Yeah. Well, let me get the sponsors out of the way. That's right. You you come from the place of the home of spam. Get the sponsors out of the way real quick. Uh, Hillary's Vanity. You know Hillary, right? Hillary's yeah. runner. Mm -hmm. And we're going to actually. At some point, very soon, we're going to uh, get you a corset from Hillary. We have a date for a corset. I haven't worn a corset in many, many years, but I remember when I did. I really enjoyed it. It was a, a black patent leather thing. And if you wear it enough, your waist does actually shrink a bit. Or maybe it's just that you can't eat, so you eat plants. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I, I don't, I, I, I've seen you in many, of course. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, I have. Okay, and I've seen you in a couple corsets. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they've got corsets, they've got parasols, they've got... Some of the best golf clothes that you've ever seen. Just go to. Are you uh, going to get a corset there too? Maybe I don't know. I've got a vest actually that uh, that they're holding for me, so that's why I'm, I'm waiting for that. But and their stuff is great. Uh, go to hillarysvanity.com. They've got a new store. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she opened up a store right on the uh, Burbank, where all oh. the cool stores are, right across the Portos, oh, that's 1018 uh, Hollywood Way. So definitely uh, stop by and say hi. Yeah. Or or if you're you know if people listening all over the country and the world, go to hillarysvanity.com. Some of the best clothes. Most fashionable clothes you've ever you've ever seen. Did you go to the website? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been saving up my money. <laughs> to speak. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I don't have to treat you then. So, uh, speaking of uh, yeah, speaking of sponsors, Audible. Speaking of websites, go I just finished Rob Lowe's book on Audible. Yeah, how was that? It was wonderful. It's called Stories I Only Tell My Friends. Yeah. He's a heck of a storyteller. So, uh, good on you, Audible. I love you. Do you, think, do you think it was Rob himself writing it? or do you think Yes, had, I do. Do you think he had a, couple, a little help? Um, it didn't seem so, except in that one spot when 
the underage girls thing, that was that was sort of thin man. Okay, all right. Well, I, hey. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, yeah, exactly. But hey, I really do believe his story. So. But I, I don't even know that story. But uh, that was so old. But if you go to Audible, oh, I remember. I remember what happened. Almost as old as me. No, I remember what happened, but I don't know what he's the spin that he's putting on now. But if you go to audibletrial.com forward slash DMS. You can get that book, any book you want. Yeah. Also, now they have. Um, they've got a, a, you don't even have to get a book. They have a, a, an audio play of Dracula, starring T- Tim Curry, Alan Cumming, and an all-star cast. They just came out with that. I, I, I'm actually driving to Vegas next week, so I'd probably listen to this. Bob Newhart has a has a has a, a, a program on Audible where he interviews Will Ferrell, Sarah Silverman, Judd Apatow. It's called Hi Bob. Very cool, because he is such an interviewer, a consummate Bob, interviewer. Bob Newhart, yes. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, you know, the Bob Newhart show, something like that. I, I thought it was a sitcom, not an internet show. But. Well, it was a sitcom, but it kind of came off like a talk show. Right. I mean, to my twisted way of things. No, I, so I look forward to seeing that. I, I look forward to hearing any 90-year-old person interview <laughs> a comedian. So, audibletrial.com forward slash DMS. One more sponsor real quick. I'm we got Lionel Monroe Hat Company on Instagram. Jamie, Jamie Lynn Berman, she um, makes custom hats. Oh, she's yeah. my friend too. Oh, oh I didn't even realize. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, little Lionel, yeah. her little um, yeah. dachshund, he's a little spokesman for it. Six degrees to the lower class. Yeah. Yeah. What's even weirder is she's from the same small town my fiance is from in, in Kansas. Yeah. They're from yeah. Overland Park. Oh, yeah. I worked in Overland Park. Oh, you're oh, kidding. Wow. I was my very first ago. radio station that's job right. was wow. Overland Park. Yeah. I, I never even heard of it before we started dating. And now it's like everybody's like, Aww. you know. Yeah. Request from that's Shawnee awesome. Mission. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's wild. Have you uh, visited Overland Park? I, I was just there last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. How was it? Oh, everyone's so nice. It's, it's, it's so weirdly true. wholesome, and I was. It's really, very white. Yeah, I really thought. <laughs> no, no I, I, I honestly went in like waiting for like the David Lynch version, where everything appears very like suburban, but like really twisted underneath. But yeah. it wasn't. It was no, just a. That you got to do um, the River Key. You got to work oh, under the River Key for okay. the twisted six stuff. I see. It was just yeah. very Norman Rockwell. It was oh, very yeah. like yeah. So, wow for me. Wow, so <laughs> everybody's from Overland Park, and, and you go to yeah. Lionel Romero High yeah. Company. We're, uh, so, um, what do we start? Let me uh, first say, you, you were talking about, I because I had posted that Brie was on the show, mm-hmm. and you were like, oh my god, Brie, you rock, I love her. <laughs> tell Brie, please, I'm going to stroke your ego, tell Brie, <laughs> first time you saw Brie Walker and how you were impressed with her. Oh, yeah, okay, so, um, uh, just my, my idols at that point were... Dolly Parton and Elvira. I was a little kid. I really already appreciated glamour. Go figure. And, yeah, and I saw you, and I, I remember you had like almost like an updo. It was something on TV. I don't know if this makes sense or what it would be from. An anchor bob of some sort. Yeah, yeah, something. And I thought you looked like. Remember in the eighties, they were all like the the nagel painting artwork things and like nail salons. But I thought you looked like a blonde version because you had this great makeup and the cheekbones. And I thought you were so glamorous and like, just really fixated. Oh, thank and I, you. I completely remember oh my it. God. That's what's so funny. Oh yeah, you really <laughs> left a like. A very big impression on me. So yeah, every time I every time I put you on the show, it's a huge compliment from a glamour girl. Like Thank you. you. But that's because watch you know it's watch it's watching all you guys. Oh, it's just beautiful. And I, see, every time I bring you around, it's, it's you, you have no idea how many people that you touch. Yeah. Like I say, everybody, uh, when I that's grew up in San Diego, I, I, I was, <laughs> yeah, I got the same visual. Well, I, I don't read very either, so yeah, right, I guess so. But 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 no, but but people, uh, you know, every, every, you know, when I was in junior high. And my generation, they were we were watching you on the news. Had a big crush, uh, you know, San Diego, L.A., New York. Yeah. You just hit everybody, yeah. and uh, and you two have something in common. I don't know if you're aware of. We probably have a lot of things in common. I know, I'm sure you have a lot of things. Which, which one are you talking about? Uh, you both in on reading Rainbow. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. just wasn't that fun? It was really fun. But you, you were a little kid when you were yeah, reading I was, Rainbow. I was, oh. I, they came to my school to cast. I didn't know what I was in the library doing, like little drawings, and I was a really precocious, chatty kid. And I guess as luck would have it, I just walked with the producer, not knowing it was a producer, <laughs> and was just like, I did a drawing for an invention, just like to tell any adult just to get attention, and they just they put me on the show. So that's awesome. Oh, wow. So yeah. that was your acting debut. That was, yeah. Did yeah, you get so. the bug, and it and it stayed with you from yes, that? Yes, actually, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It became a problem because um, my father's friend Walter was Drew Barrymore's agent, and. So he started, you know, putting me in commercials and stuff. And apparently, I liked it way too much. And my dad's like, "You're creepy. This is getting weird. Like you're like way too into it. So like not for a while." Yeah. Oh, okay. So you were like one of those one of those stage kids. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah I had it and had it bad. And he was like, "No, this is too much." You know? But well, you're an LA girl. I mean, you, I you grew up with 
nothing but uh, you know women on television. Oh yeah. And you expected that that was what women did. They oh. were they would get on TV. Absolutely. And